We're doing it. We're fucking doing it. Speaking of the star of the show, who's bringing that energy today? Who's gonna kill it? It's Petey. And he's got a movie. All right, here we go. Pictures up. I like your tattoos. Yeah. What is that date? Oh, uh, that's uh, the date my dad died. Oh my god, your dad died? I'm so sorry. Don't be. It's fine. It's totally cool. So what happened? Ooh. Okay, you don't no, need to ask. No, no, don't ask no, that. No. It's kind of inappropriate. Uh, he, was a, he was a fireman. Oh my god. Yeah, we, yeah, knew. we knew. We don't yeah. like to talk about it. We that's know. why we don't bring it up. Pete is from Staten Island. His father was a fireman who lost his life on 9-11. This movie isn't a story about 9-11, but it is a story about a young man whose father was a firefighter who died heroically. And Pete found a way to be really funny and incredibly honest about it. You know, you gotta get your shit together. Time is passing by very quickly. That's why I smoke weed all the time, okay? It slows it all down. In a lot of ways, it's an imagining of what Pete's life would have been if he didn't find comedy and he was still in Staten Island going nowhere. And when his mom starts dating another fireman, it forces him to deal with all of his grief and all of the obstacles to him moving forward in his life. So you're 15 when you started doing stand-up, which is uh, crazy uh, young. 16, yeah. In some way, you developed a dark sense of humor from just having to deal with all of this? Yeah, well, I had no friends. I ripped my hair out all the time from anxiety, so I was bald. Yeah. So a picture a bald 16-year-old yeah. with braces. Kids love that. Yeah. They want to be friends with that guy. Acne poured everywhere. Yeah. You know? So I was just like, what do I have to lose? I am 17, so unfortunately for you ladies, you know, keep it down, you know, because you'll go to jail. <laughs> also, guys, if you have a girlfriend, uh, I get hit on her, because if you do anything, you also go to jail. <laughs> it's a win-win. So then, in some way, comedy is what saved you. Oh, absolutely. It was the first time I was ever happy was going to an open mic. Yeah, but I'm, I'm into cougars, you know? You know? I think 21-year-olds are so hot. It's ridiculous. At the beginning of this, you wanted to write something about a guy whose mom hasn't dated in a long time. Right. I'm seeing somebody. And about how you wanted... What does that mean? Your mom to be in a relationship. I, I've been dating someone for a little while now. And your mother's played by Marissa Tomei. That was just sick. She's just like an Oscar-winning actress. It's crazy. And then we started getting along kind of like me and my mom. And it was like really intense and cool. But I remember in our conversations, I kept saying, wouldn't you not want her to right. be in a relationship? Right. Wouldn't that be what would really happen is you'd be annoyed. Right, and then we found out what would annoy. <laughs> and nothing's more annoying than Bill Burr banging your mom. <laughs> Who's the lucky guy? It's Ray. He said he was 18. He looks like he's four, you fucking moron. That fucking prick? He's a really nice man, and he's really good to me, and he's a fireman. He's a fireman? That's fucked up. Why? What, what do you mean, why? You haven't dated anyone in 17 years since dad and the first guy you date is a fireman? You don't think that's a little fucking weird? I can nothing think it's fireman. Do you not learn? Look what happened last time. Hi, Pete. Hi. Hey, Kiki, the beautiful girl. His daddy with his ugly face in the camera. His dad was a comedian himself. Like, he uh. was the jokester in the firehouse. And Pete did everything with him. They just really had a bond. And when my husband died, I tried to, like, overcompensate for him not having a dad, but there's no way to replace that guy, you know? Like, he really, he really um, took it really hard. It's hard for me to express myself to my relatives, but this movie's really brought us a lot closer. Because I still never fully dealt with it. I still don't. Does it feel like you can never get over it because it just never goes away? Yeah, the New York way of dealing things is like, your dad's dead, got a PS3 with the new Madden, though. Yeah. You know, it's just distraction. Yeah. And then you never deal with it. I mean, I met the president. Like, he gave me a medal. <laughs> what did you do? I went, thanks, Mr. President. And he went, stay in college. Good luck in college. <laughs> I'm still remembering some of it. Like, I'll watch clips and I'll be like, oh, fuck, that's horrible. <laughs> like, I can't believe this is what they thought would be helpful. 
but it made it impossible for me to grieve. Yeah. Because there was such a fucking show. And your reaction to losing your dad was, why would he have taken a job like this? Yeah. You ever think about putting on the jacket? No. What are you laughing for? I mean, I have opinions that I could share with you on Fireman, but I, I don't think you guys want that. No, no, no. Tell us. Yeah? No. Yeah. No, 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 I want to hear it. Okay, how about for starters, uh, if you're a fireman, just don't have kids or a family at all, okay? So that way you don't fucking crush them when you don't come home that one time. The other night, Pete has to go off on a riff about how he doesn't think a fireman should have kids. And to hear him talk about it, to me, it was almost like he forgot he was filming a movie and he's having like a self-therapy session. And it's wrong to tell a kid that you're gonna be there for him for his whole entire life. You, have, you miss graduation your birthdays, okay, uh, my, my prom dances. It's a very mean thing to do to children. And I, if you have a family, you, no, you're an asshole. Of the time. Time. Take it easy. One way to look at it. Yeah. Tell that to my dad. You told me that that's uh, something that you felt as a young person, and then that became a linchpin of the entire movie. Yeah. Was learning that maybe that wasn't correct. And understanding why your dad was willing to die for other people. Good. Yeah. We're gonna be fine. They got this. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know it looks bad, but they know what they're doing. Hey. Hi, how, are how are you? Good to see Your you. grandfather's in the movie. Yeah, yeah. What is his name? His name's Steven Davidson. Hello? I'm Detective Bart Simpson. It's my shield, just in case you don't believe me. Steven Davidson was the guy that got you interested in movies. Yeah, he made me watch old movies from the 40s, and then he got a camera, and we started making our own. And my mom got really mad, because we would make, like, Mission Impossible, where I would, like, jump off of his shit. Well, that was a good one. And he would go, what? We're making movies here. <laughs> Maybe you should work and go to college. College is bullshit. You know who went to Harvard? The Unabomber. You know who went to Temple? Bill Cosby. You know who else who went to Temple? Ted Bundy. You know who went to Hofstra? Bernie Madoff. You know who went to Wharton? Donald Trump. It's all a scam. OK, well, maybe I shouldn't go then. Oh, no, you'll have the time of your life. Oh, I have a text from him. He texted me, he's like, I still didn't get paid from your feature. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he goes, now I know I'm your family, and it's all giggles, but. It, a job's a job. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ready, guy? And three, two, one. Oh, Ta -da! Oh. Hey, cool off now, huh? Told ya! Bill Burr is someone you've known. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm a little psyched to get rid of this fucking mustache. <laughs> Since you were first trying to be a comedian, you met yeah. him when you were really little? I met him when I was 16, and I just was like, hey, I'm trying to start stand-up. Do you have any advice for me? And he just said, don't sign anything. <laughs> and then I got him to bang my mom in a movie. <laughs> He's a leading man. And a lot of your friends who you think deserve big shots are in the movie. Yeah. I'm really lucky. I have all my friends that are yeah. fucking hilarious. So like, we're so glad that we got to put them in a place where they could hit home runs, and they all did. I need somebody to tattoo. I'm, I'm running out of Don't there. even look at me, dude. Your work is mad inconsistent. Obama ain't right. What are you, Igor? You want a dragon or something? Oh, I love your tattoos. This is my favorite. You killed that. Yeah, I really Just... worked hard on the eyes. He's so cute. I love his butthole. Like Ricky, we're all really excited about. Moises. Moises and, and Lou. Lou. Derek. Take that shit. Yeah. And Belle. She's fucking sick. I'm going to tell you something. You make me feel so crazy. People meet you, and they're normal people, and then they hang out with you, and then they're fucking Jack Nicholson in The Shining or something. OK. I got to stay zen. I got to meditate. I'm meditating right now. And you got to go. And you got to work with uh, my daughter, Maude, as her sister. Yes, sir. She can't just be with the first guy she's been with since dad. She got to, like, peruse some dick. Mom doesn't need to peruse dick. You know she needs to. We just have, like, such a good group of people. And we all feel like we made something special. Yeah. Dude, I need you to do me a favor. What is it? I need you to watch my cat. Yeah, I'm allergic to cats, bro. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I, 
I don't have any free time right now. I need you to spend time with Sprinkles. I don't want you just going in there, feeding him and running out. You gotta go in there, scratch his belly. Tell him he's a good boy. Okay. Tell him I fucking miss him, all right? All right. How's, uh, how's Igor doing? Igor? Bruh, look to your right. That's Carla. You look so good. You better not be taking any shit from anyone in there. Do you love me? I do, I love you a lot. Well, what are we gonna do when I get out of here? Whatever you want. Oh my God, you look so hot. I can climb right through this glass. I wish you would. Ah, that's fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> that's a wrap. For me, being around all those real firefighters, I hadn't been around people like that ever. Like, you yeah. feel that these guys, they're walking in right. into the fire, no matter how bad it is, they're ready to go. They're ready to fucking go at all yeah. times. I mean, I found it to be almost life-changing seeing that they were people whose values were about that. The hard part was being in the firehouse, because I don't go to the firehouse. Like, the only time I would ever stop at a firehouse is because, like, if I ever had to go to the bathroom, I would be like, hey, my dad. <laughs> Why do I have to clean this thing anyway? It's just going to get fire on it. You think the people that are burning alive give a fuck if the truck is shiny? Just saying. I don't even know why you got to clean the truck. When you're trying to show up all sexy to a fire? I like them. Let's have a round of applause for Pete Davidson. For... Yeah. It's been a pleasure working and collaborating with you. And this is my gift to you. Tell you something. You know, your dad, he didn't just die saving those two people that night. I mean, he did that a lot. But he was a hero. And heroes are necessary. And they should be allowed to have families. The movie is like my love letter to my mom and just like overall just like trying to end that part of uh, my life. And your grandfather, I, I would assume after making all those movies with you, it must blow his mind a little bit to yeah, see as him. As soon as one. he gets paid for it, he's gonna be thrilled. 